Hey, what's up everyone? This is Brandon Lee with Virtualization How To and coming to you from the home lab environment. And wanted to just quickly detail the steps to upgrading to vSAN 7.0 Update 2. And with that, there are only just a few steps involved depending on your environment, but uh, first and foremost, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you upgrade your uh, vCenter server to 7.0 update 2 and as you see here I've got version 7.0.2 which is update 2 and I have actually already updated two of the th three cluster hosts in this particular nested cluster so if I check the version for uh, the host that I've already updated I've got 7.0.2 and as you see the second host, I've got 702 as well. And the last host that I have is, as you can see, still running update one. So 70 update one. So already updated these hosts, uh, just to work backwards just a bit, I'll show you what I did. Um, easy process. Now I will say this, I wanna preface the video this video was made after the 7.0 update 2 release was pulled from the website. Uh, there is a known issue with uh, the initial release of 7.0 update 2 where UEFI hosts were getting a crypto 64.efi, I believe is the ho or the uh, file name that is coming up in error. Uh, after some specific conditions are, are met with the upgrade to update two. So as you can see here, if you visit Lifecycle Manager, if you want to use the image-based approach, um, update two is no longer available. So you only see uh, update one, uh, the latest patch release for update one. So what, what I have done, I pulled the ISO before uh, the update was pulled. So simply what I did is I imported the ISO. We're going to use the vSphere Update Manager um, traditional approach to upgrade the hosts here and that's what I've done with hosts 2 and 3. So I imported the ISO. I created a new upgrade baseline based off of that ISO image and then I simply applied that uh, update to the specific host. So I'm going to do that here, uh, just walk through this. You can do this also at the cluster level, so you can do all at once, but what I've done for the purposes of the video, I've got, uh, I did those individually. So I'm going to uh, click the update to baseline that uh, I now have available since creating that baseline. Again, I'm on ESX host one that is update one currently, as you can see in the version. So what I'm gonna do is simply hit remediate, accept the EULA, say okay, and shows our hosts. We've got some pre-check issues based on the nested environment. So nothing uh, really to speak of there. And then you simply hit remediate. And what you will see and most of you have been through this a number of times uh, if you've uh, upgraded, installed patches, or any other update uh, to your environment. So here we are, we are monitoring the progress. So patches are being applied, the host will be rebooted, and then we should be able to come back up, verify everything is good from a version perspective and then we can move forward with updating vSAN. So I'm gonna pause the video, let the host finish updating, and then we will continue once again. All right guys, so I have brought up the host. It actually finished out the upgrade to 7.0 update two. And so now what I wanted to show you guys, now that I have native 7.0 update two with an update two vCenter server, um, if you navigate now to the cluster, monitor, skyline health, and then you should see an informational warning, so to speak, um, that refers to disk format version. 
So with the update to um, 7.0 update to, there's actually a new vSAM disk format version. So uh, what will happen is you will see this message that pops up after your native on 7.0 update 2 that actually uh, encourages you to upgrade the on-disk format. So pretty simple process. So if you uh, click on uh, again, once again, we are monitor vSAN Skyline Health disk format version. So we're going to click upgrade on disk format. And you will see the message uh, upgrade no data will, will be moved as part of this operation. Once you upgrade the on disk format, you cannot roll back software in the hosts or add certain older hosts to the, to the cluster as explained. Uh, and they reference a KB article. I'll put that into the video notes. Uh, this operation upgrades one disk group at a time. So uh, we're going to click upgrade. And what we will see is the upgrade process will begin. So it's updating the vSAN configuration. And then this process here will run for a while. And depending on how much data you have, um, so what it's uh, doing is converting the disk format uh, for vSAN on this process. Now, I don't expect it to take that long on um, the nested environment since uh, basically I don't have anything running on the server. But I will say this, in the home lab, it only took a few minutes as well. Uh, and I've got several terabytes worth of data uh, sitting on some NVMe drives for data stores. Uh, as well as my uh, vSAN data store. So uh, that process did not take too long, so I was quite surprised and uh, you know, pleasantly surprised at how quick the process actually uh, finishes. So once again, I'm gonna pause the video. I will update you guys on how long the process takes uh, for the nested environment. All right, guys, so I am back. The upgrade of the disk format, the conversion of the disk format was successful. If you see here, we've got convert disk format for vSAN. It was completed. Uh, now, if we look at the uh, disk format uh, version, what we do see is the check result is passed. And now, if we go to... Uh, the info tab, what we see here is we see that the vSAN cluster expected format version is 14. So version 14 with vSAN is new with uh, 7.0 update 2. So that is the, the straight of it, how you upgrade your vSAN cluster to the latest version of vSAN. So number one, upgrade vCenter server. Number two, upgrade your ESXi host to 7.0 update two. Then the last step is to upgrade your on-disk format for your vSAN data store. And once you've done that, you will be able to take advantage of all the latest and greatest features found with vCenter server as well as vSAN 7.0 update two. I well, hope you've enjoyed this quick, short video tutorial on how to upgrade vSAN to vSAN 7.0 Update 2. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to check back for future videos uh, posted soon. Take care, everybody.